we have the code that runs the unit right here. Um, the code is written in BASCOM, BASCOM AVR. I've gotten extremely spoiled with this program. I can write assembler, but I'd prefer not to. Inside this program code um, it has all the variables that I need to make everything work correctly. I'm enabling the timer, the interrupts, doing the flags register, and you'll see what those do in a minute. Uh, then there's the there's the decibel tape. This takes the voltage from the because it's pre-calculated, already calculated out. It takes the voltage from the analog digital converter and it compares it to what it should be here and then it generates a bar for the specific channel and then all that stuff is all done through. Well, that's all fine and dandy. But here's the actual scan routine. So what we're going to do is first I want to show you it working. Let's get a little bit of music in there. Peak cold. Alright, that's enough of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop the music. Uh, we're going to actually show you this thing working. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a scan delay of 40 milliseconds. That way you can actually see this thing work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and send the program. We're going to go ahead and write the chip. We're writing the chip right now. It's programming the chip. chip is being programmed. Now, you see that switching? This gives you a good indication of how these displays work. Now that I slowed down the scan speed, you can actually watch it go from grid to grid to grid to grid. And now we're going to go ahead and do some music. You can actually kind of see it working. It's going to take a lot longer because this is interrupt driven. So it takes a lot longer to sample the DC line and all that stuff. But this gives you an indication that it's got to write from here to here to here to here. So as time progresses, it picks up. When, once it generates a bar, it lays a bar out inside the buffer. Well, the buffer goes from here. And then it displays the buffer one block at a time but it scans so fast you can't tell it looks like one complete bar so um, that's in a nutshell pretty much how it works so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change our millisecond time back to two go ahead and compile the program and then we're going to send the program to the chip and we're going to write the chip So we're stuck on one segment because it's no longer scanning. So there it goes. We're back up to operations again. And oh, the same person I got this VU meter board from also gave me the original cover to the Pioneer CTF 100 900. There you go. I never really cared about the tape deck quality. I mean, it was a great tape deck. I like the tape deck. But I'm more fascinated with a VU meter. So why have to pay $200, $300 for a cassette deck? I can just have the VU meter. And that's the same thing. It's just run by my own software. On my own code. And it is analog audio. There's the DC power supply. It puts out 24 volts for the high voltage on the anodes. And provides the 12 volts for the little headphone amplifier right there. And then the 5 volts for the rest of the logic. And then the two, the left and right adjusters for the uh, the level. And that's in a nutshell how a digital VU meter works using an AVR microcontroller.